Hi, my name's George from Australia and welcome to Game In My Whole Life where I discuss everything video game related, past, present and future. Uh, now, look, this is obviously a past video because in front of you, you do see that correct. I am playing Dino Crisis 2. The question of the day, if I don't change the thumbnail, is does Dino Crisis 2... Is Dino Crisis 2 as good as we remember? How does it hold up in 2021? Is this PlayStation 1 game even worth playing again? I love Dino Crisis 2. As soon as I found out about the Resident Evil remakes coming, I was really looking forward to the possibility of a Dino Crisis game coming out. And to be honest, I have reason to believe a Dino Crisis remake or something will happen one day once Capcom can't milk Resident Evil anymore. They can move on to the world with dinosaurs. And hey, dinosaurs with that new RE engine would look sick. With that being said, I thought I'd have some fun uh, playing this game in front of you, sharing my thoughts, so then we can nerd out below in the comment section. If you've clicked on this video, you are a fan of Dino Crisis. So I want to answer the question, is it as good as we remember? Now, I know today is super retro. We're going back 20 years. Some of my younger viewers, even though very few of you come here, it's mostly the older guys that come. Um, even though this is a really old video, this past week I've spoken about, you know, Pokemon Legends. You know, my tr I did a trailer reaction to it. I did a um, Pokemon Legends comparison to Breath of the Wild. And just yesterday, in fact, I did a video on Kena Bridge of Spirits, which is all fantastic. So it isn't all old school here, but I like to mix it up. With that being said, let's get to it. All right, so this is literally the starting area of the game. As you can see, pre-rendered graphics, my old friend, you can tell the difference. So you have our character model here moves very much like the old Resident Evil games, which is fine. This is made by Capcom. Capcom made... Resident Evil, but I have to say, and I don't care if I'm fanboying already, I haven't moved from this frame, right? But I reckon these pre-rendered graphics look fantastic. Wow, this made the PS1 feel so much more powerful than um, than it actually than it actually was. And let's, let's let's look at his gun. Oh man, I remember shooting this gun. I remember this gun looking a lot, <laughs> a lot more imitating. Oh, that, that looks like a little toy by today's standards. But, uh, let's see what we can do. Oh. Oh, hello. Oh. Alright, I'll be honest. That actually sounds as satisfying as I remember. So, you'll have to... Oh, oh yes, that's how you did it, wasn't it? Oh, we got the knifey. Oh, it's all coming back. It is all coming back. Can I... Oh, oh, we have a dead body here. Oh, no, don't swipe him. Will you take the med pack S? Yes. Yes, I will. Wow, just... Oh, I was trying to get my head around this. So, swipe. Okay. So, it isn't like Resident Evil where you can cut forward, down, or up. It's just a forward motion. Hmm. How cool is that? You can actually aim your gun. Yeah, while still moving. Okay. That's a, that was a smart design decision. Alright. Oh, what button did I just press? Oh, we have a map. Oh, what's this? Detail. Oh, okay. When I was younger, I would just totally ignore the fact that this has a map. <laughs> so, that, that is very good. Okay, so I can be running. I press a button. <laughs> Oh man, I, I just can't explain. Just even giving this a chance, regardless of how the session goes. It's electronically locked. You may be able to short it out with the stun... Yeah, I don't have the stun gun, do I? Do I? Oh, that fixed camera angle though. You know, it's looking down on him one moment, showcasing the graphics. You go here, changes, and then it changes again. Oh, it is so cinematic, uh, fixed camera angles. I really miss it in the old Resident Evil games. So... Look at this angle. So cinematic. Oh, what's that sound? <gasps> Hello, friend. <laughs> oh, two of them. Three of them. Oh, wow. This game did not, uh... Did not mess around, did it? I'm gonna shoot you off. Oh, 
that's right, you got combos. <laughs> that was nice. That was nice. Oh, I'm going to bring down the uh, music volume. Duh, duh, duh. What do we have here? Much better. Oh shoot! Another one! Can I knife you? Oh, there you go. Oh, just swiping him up. Oh no. <laughs> Save those bullets. Oh, that, that felt mean. That felt mean. I was just torturing a little buddy. Will you take the medium pack? Yeah. <laughs> oh man. I remember you got points by attacking them. So you try to keep combos going. Oh, shoot. That's right, get the combo, you got lots of points, you bought more stuff. Oh man, I feel like a pro. They really didn't waste any time getting them on you. Like, the game's just started, and it's like, deal. <laughs> okay, alright. Well, apparently 20 years hasn't passed since the last time I played this 6 hit combo. Oh, that's right. See, max combo, room total. Oh, wow, it's all coming back. It's all coming back. Hey, friend. Huh. Oh, shoot. Oh, he did. He did. Oh, oh, oh. No. Aha. Okay, the knife guaranteed knocks him down. Okay. Didn't realize that when I was a kid playing this. Oh, shoot. It's funny, I'm scared, but at the same time, I want those combos. Um, how do I access my inventory or whatever? Attack, decide, operation. Like, how do I heal myself? How do I look at my guns? I don't remember. Ah, I'm sure the game will explain it at some point. Although it's a PS1 era. <gasps> the select button. Oh, look at this screen. Oh, I love that pre-render of the guy there. Oh, here it is. Main weapon, sub weapon. Ah, oh, that's right. Check. It shoots scatter shots capable of shooting enemies both close range and wide range. Here we are, shows where it's stronger at. Speed, range, surprisingly attack isn't so high. What about my sub weapon? What, what are you going to tell me about that? Speed and range, very weak. Yeah. Do I have items? Recovery. Oh, here it is. You can return to life with your health fully restored. Return to life? Could you revive yourself? I can't remember. It will fully recover your health, but not stop bleeding. That's right, you could bleed in this game. Oh. Cover your health a bit. Stops the bleeding, but it will not cover your health. That's right. I remember that was so cool. You could occasionally bleed, and then you're limping away, and there's like a blood trail behind you, and you gradually lose health, no? How much health will a small pack recover? Quite a lot since I'm at the start of the game. Okay. Do I have files? And you just access the map, yep. Okay. <laughs> Very, oh, I'm getting, getting all goosebumps playing this, uh, playing this old game. Oh no. Hey, you 
can't take too long killing them. I do remember that, because then the combo doesn't count. Worth it. Worth it. That's right, it was really weird because the first Dino Crisis was survival horror like Resident Evil, and then all of a sudden this one was so action oriented because you're literally trying to make combos instead of fearing them. But I remembered that, you know, it was just done so well that you, you couldn't hold the grudge against them even though it, it did belong there. I remember the. Yeah, that was really good. But I totally oh, understand why this would have divided fans because this is a very different experience from Dino Crisis 1. The thing for me though is I played this game first. I played this game first and I played Dino Crisis 1 after the fact. After the fact. Yep, I'll take another one. I have to say though, the environments and just how much they attack you really holds up. Like this is fun, this is fun. I love the camera angles continuously changing um, the amount of raptors they get to chase you, no holds bars. Like, very cool. Okay. Oh, oh hello friend. You gonna, maybe I'll get a couple of them to chase me. That way I can get some nice combos going. Okay, that's two. Oh. Oh. Oh, I heard someone. Yes. Oh, just threw me. Ah, oh. oh, too slow. See, I missed. I missed that combo. Oh. oh anyone else? I hear you. I like that, if you're nice and close, your shot's more powerful, so you knock them down. If you're too far, it just doesn't do much damage. Water tower. Even the loading screens is from the Resident Evil style. It's awesome. Ah, uh, that motion blur that was really popular during... Hey! Who are you? ...during the time. Although, are back then, the was actually quite advanced. Oi, where are you going? Man, I remember this scene so Don't well. Run away. It Come either out. stuck in my head. We came here to rescue you. Or I must have replayed this a lot of times. Oh man, those pre-rendered graphics. Cause the amount of space. The amount of resources they got to save. Like at the moment, all of these is just a picture there. <laughs> it's just a picture. So it's taken up like almost zero to no polygons. And the only thing being rendered really <laughs> is just a character in the middle and even though he stands out now it seems a bit smooth when you played this on the actual hardware on our CR TVs um, the character seemed to blend in with the environment like you could always tell the environment looked better but uh, it didn't stand out as much as you know it will show now as you're watching this on YouTube oh you have found a dino file oh that's right you could like learn things about the dinosaurs while you're at it Ah, Velociraptor. Oh. Meaning swift side. Really? Huh, even tells you how big he gets. We're just slow and dumb reptiles. We soon realized this wasn't true at all. <laughs> Proved us all wrong. Uh, cool. Blue Raptor has been reported. That's cool. Now, if memory serves me correct, I think you save at that thing. Oh, I remember. Yes, you can get the shop. Get the shop, weapon, recovery magazine. Yeah, I remember there were so many things. So I can charge that. I guess that makes sense. I only have 22 shots left. Ah, yes. No, I already did the charge. Recovery. 
cool, I can buy whatever I want. Stops the bleeding, massive pack. Okay. Weapon. Oh, that's right. This game had an abundance of just really dead set cool weapons. I remember, so there was a massive incentive to get those combos and take out the dinosaurs and the bigger dinosaurs because you always had something sick you could buy. So this... Oh, solid cannon destroys cells by way of vibration. Effective for a few seconds even after initial fire. Extinction points... 5,000... What was that? 50,000? 5,070, I think. And that's how much I have. And to get this, I need 18,000. So, can't buy it yet. That's good. That's good. You wouldn't want to buy it too easily. Anyway, let's save. Yes. Save. Now saving. Oh, my first save. Well, I'm going to keep playing. Uh, they ran in there, but I can see a floating item rotating. Ah, oh, there we are. Is there a way to walk? Oh, there's another way in there as well. Can I climb? Yes. No, I'm convinced. Fixed camera angles, they're as good as I remember. I want the next Resident Evil remake to have fixed camera angles again. And I definitely want fixed camera angles if we get a Dino Crisis remake. I know it's not going to happen, but I'm still going <clears> to <throat> still going to wish it. I'm going to I'm going to wish it into existence. That is my plan. That is my plan. Like like the video if you agree with me by the way. Like, you know, if you're as nostalgic for this as oh oh my goodness die fiend oh you just I am getting such a good combo. That was like 11 hit combo. We'll be uh, earning money for that blaster before we know it. Oh. Oh. him alive. Man, that makes you feel guilty. But like, you need to do it. I did lose health though. Um, item, recovery. Small recovery thingy. Nice. I remember you could play as the girl as well, and there was just... There was just so much. There was just so much. 2,800 just from that one corridor. Okay, cool. Cool. Oh my goodness, there's so many of them. those combos.
ruthless. Absolutely ruthless. He says with like the world's biggest smile on his face. <laughs> oh, what's gonna happen? Oh, cutscene. Oh, I remember. This big boy. Well, that's terrifying. The game's like, get comfortable. Get you you more, huh? <laughs> you one-eyed menace. Don't, don't interrogate the T-Rex. Don't, don't do that. Run. Run, you fool. girls come from oh yeah these simple sounds these fixed angles it's all coming back to me it's all coming back to me got the key plate. Well, I'm sure that will come in handy. He must have been attacked while in his sleep. There are no signs of resistance. Poor guy. Hello. See, that's the sort of game hunting I like. <laughs> when it's like the only moving thing and it's colourful and it's so obvious and you don't miss out on it. Good. Can I afford to buy what I want? No. That's fine. Magazine. What's the difference between charge by ammo, increase max ammo storage? Oh, I misunderstood this before. Increase max ammo storage. Okay. I see. Alright. Hmm. There we go. Save. Nice. Let the adventure continue. side as well. That's comforting. I don't have her stun gun. Alright. Alright, so when I'm so when I'm Regina I need to double track, backtrack. I'm not. Oh, 
there's another one. That's where I came from. So that means I can go do this one. I've mixed them up. I think I've mixed them up. I think I meant to go the other one. No, this is a different area. Okay. Good. Good. Oh. Can I interact with this? It's a control panel for the shield shutter. It is used for alarm and trespassers. Blue light. Da -da -da -da. Okay. Ah, oh, hello. Rotating CD. Oh, where are you? Okay. Oh. Play it here. Yes. What did I get? What is it? You got the research facility key card. And the game did you not like that. An incorrect key. Trespasser confirmed. This room will be locked. Run. Dang it. So <laughs> Did he swear and that cut it out? Somebody answer me. David. Regina. Over. <laughs> Did you swing your precious machete around? Well, I guess I can help you out. Over. The sass level. Good. Okay. <laughs> I'll put a key in front of the door as a mark. Don't let me down. Over and out. Oh, okay, so I bet I play as her now. So that's how it happened, huh? Has a hand. She just has a handgun. Okay. It does have very good speed. What about the other stun gun? The gun puts out a volt of high voltage, mobilizing the enemy. Ooh. Oh, look at this lightsaber business. That looks cool. Aha. Right, let's do this. Ah. <laughs> I'm jealous the other guy couldn't do that. That's good, it uh woves their stories together. Oh, hey dead friend. Ooh, new dino file. Allosaurus. That looks pretty cool. Oh, meaning odd lizard. Huh. Okay. Cool. Hey, the more you, the more you know, huh? The more you know. Oh, that's nice. Huh. Very nice touch developers. Oh, man, I love all these angles. Come on, I want to shoot something. Oh wow. Yeah, I'll tell you what, the fact that it's a handgun is not slowing her down at all, that's for sure. Huh, it's butchering them. Go go. Seventeen hundred. Oh. Yeah, it feels very satisfying. Oh, 
Oh, no damage points. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I remember you need like a flamethrower or something to uh, take care of those. Alright, let's get out of this area. So, creeping me out. Man, there's nothing more satisfying than playing an old game. And it's freaking as good as you remember. Man, I wonder why this had a... Uh, I wonder why we all remembered it so fondly. Oh, hello. It's Jurassic Park with lightsabers. Come on. Oh, oh, let go. Butchering them both. Oh man, it is intense. I remember there was a really good amount of uh, dinosaur variety as well. Different speeds, different strengths. You know, these guys are obviously your common, but. Seriously, could you imagine playing this game on the PS1? You probably can, because, you know, that's what I did. And that's probably what you did. You're watching this. Yeah, I'm gonna zap you. Ah, only the guy can cut through that, huh? Yeah, now who's barbaric? <laughs> oh my goodness. And I love this just forcing me into a corner like that. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh, what's that? It's health or something. There's actually too many of them to take on. Wow. You can't just be brave and always take them on. Ah, nice relaxing indoor game save music. Oh, that's right. It was those plants that I saw. Yeah, use fl uh, flame launchers for this. Yeah, I'm going to keep my distance. Does that mean I'm going to get a uh, flame launcher here? Flamethrower. You have to buy it, don't you? Ah. 
Oh wow, firewall, single handed. Sub weapon, main weapon, flamethrower. All right, what do you need for this? 10,000, no, I have 10,000. That costs 8,000. Oh, okay, so it's combining all the points I've gotten between the guy and the girl. All right. Ooh. I just bought a flamethrower. Very nice. Uh, magazine. Let's charge you up. Actually, can I buy more? Yes. All right, 50 more XP. I think the guy's gonna hate us now because I spent everything on a new flamethrower and upgraded her gun while he's locked up. But I did increase the bullet capacities of his, so. Balances out. All right, let's fix ourselves. Recovery. Go with M for medium size. Weapon. Let's equip this bad boy. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, yeah. I need a nice close up shot of this. Mm, I'll do it in another spot. Might, uh, might use it for a thumbnail. <laughs> or burn one of these guys. Probably gonna burn. Oh, cutscene. Oh, they went after her as well. Tables have turned. Grab my hand. Who are? It's like you're just a kid. Use a flamethrower on her. That'll teach you. Listen, young lady, I don't want to do this to you, but you've left me no other choice. Ha. Huh. She sure is. All right, let's try going out there again. burn these with the flamethrower? No, you you would think it would. Huh. I should probably stop wasting this. If I'm meant to use it to go through those flowers, then burning everyone, as satisfying as it is, probably isn't a good thing to do. Ooh, more damage points. More points for not getting damaged. get you in the future but I feel I need to uh, save my ammunition for now that's fun so I have him and I have the T-Rex so you can keep some powerful dinosaurs in mind as to who you're going to you know, get later on 
and you get rewarded for it because you get a massive amount of points for those you choose to kill or not kill. Uh, I'm zigzagging so they don't jump me. <laughs> <clears throat> Yep, okay, cool. I didn't get lost for once. I always get lost in games. I have no self-awareness. But let's do this. Nice, that'll fix it. Nice combos out of this. And you keep moving and try to. Uh, oh, there you are. Try to get as many as I can. Oh, 10 hit. Look, there's even lighting effects on the character itself when you use the flamethrower. That would have been pretty advanced back then. You know, that, that would have been a big deal. 5,600 points for that. Oh. This area is filled with, yep. Dude, why are you re-explaining that to me? We've established that we need to burn them all. And it looks really cool. has been unlocked. Okay. Oh, water tower. Alright, I've gone back to the... I remember this. That's good. That means I can save here. And that means the guy is around the corner as well. Alright. I'll save some of the experience points I've gotten so that he can buy maybe that pulse rifle, if I remember correctly. Oh, I still have that equipped. Ooh, cutting. release our friend. <laughs> Rude. They just keep appearing. Little thugs. How'd they escape down here? There's that car wreck. Okay. But yeah, just seeing... Can't get closer to the camera. Just seeing things like this, this whole image without pre rendered backgrounds back then, there's no way you'd get anything that looks this good. Your brain um, accepts it as one anyway. It's not like you're running around and you're like, I'm surrounded by wallpaper. It's like, no, you take it in. That's a nice touch, you just see them in the background. Very, uh, very Jurassic World, you know, very Jurassic Park. And if you think about it, that's the main story of all the Jurassic Park films, is things go wrong, and then you're following the story of the survivalists. Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. too much ammunition if I uh, try to get these birds. Alright, let's, let's go. Oh, yeah, wasted a lot of bullets trying to get them. 
Oh, there's the key. Ooh, almost got me. Almost got me. And look, obviously in modern tech, I don't need uh, pre-rendered backgrounds, even though I love them. But the fixed camera angles. Oh, you gotta have that. Oh, let go. Ah, oh, oh, it's freaking all coming back. I have an insane amount of extinction points. I think for now I'll just charge up on everything. Save some for the guy. I don't want him to come out and she has all these fancy weapons and he only has that shotgun, you know? Well, there you have it. I've been playing Dino Crisis 2. I didn't need to play that much of it. Like, I'm not going to play through the whole game and beat it just for this video, although I will personally continue. I just wanted to play enough to answer the original question I posed. Hey, does it hold up in 2021? And has it aged okay? And, you know, if you have your hands on it, you know, should you, should you play it? And absolutely, this is as good as I remembered. You know, the graphics... Graphics still look nice as far as I'm concerned. Those pre-rendered graphics, man, they just, they really made those PS1 games just, you know, really go the extra mile. Let us know what next-gen graphics are going to look like. The animations and speed, the fact that nothing is explained whatsoever and you get attacked immediately and you're trying to take them down and then you slowly piece together by yourself like, oh, you get combos, oh, you get points. And then when you come across the first machine that lets you buy weapons, you're like, ooh, all of a sudden there's this huge investment of like not only do you want to survive but you want to get as many points as possible in combos so then you can get the flamethrower so then you can get the uzi so then you can get that pulse rifle and um all the other ones that you can get and do you want to get more ammunition and so forth and as you saw in several areas as well um they seem to just keep coming more and more like you will run out of bullets more often than you will run out of enemies so then you need to think hey and you can make the informed decision of like, hey, you know what? I'm going to do a tough area. I want to I wanna buy a certain gun. And then I'm going to keep running up and down the hall. I'm going to keep reloading it. Because one thing I notice is every time you enter an area, you get the same amount of dinosaurs load up each and every time. So technically, if you wanted to be a clever little cookie, you could keep going back and forth continuously, keep going down the exact same halls, keep getting those six, seven, eight hit combos and then leave the area and come back and repeat. And then when you run out of bullets, go buy more bullets, come back to the area and repeat. And then you can have OP weapons really early on in the game or you can let it gradually happen. Either way, there is a very nice amount of flexibility where you can choose where the importance is. The fact you have multiple characters, the fact that they have different weapons that the other one doesn't have access to. I mean, I already have my flamethrower and I have my zappy lightsaber sort of thing. The guy doesn't have that. He has his shotgun that the girl doesn't have. He's going to get his pulse weapon. She's later going to get her oozes and I forget what other cool badass weapons he's going to get. But not only is there two players, but they have different weapons, different options, and it seems to go seamlessly with the story. You don't need to pick who am I going to experience this with? It's like, no, you're going to start off with the guy. Then you're going to be the girl and the guy and the girl and the guy and all these different dinosaurs. And you saw that there were dinosaurs that were too big to take on. And then I had to make the decision. Should I use all hundred of my shotgun 
shells and see if I can take down that T-Rex or should I run and save it and come back when he has, um, when I have more powerful weapons. Uh, to be honest, when I was younger and I first played it, I actually took down that T-Rex just with the shotgun. That being said, it took a very long time and I shot that thing so, so many times. Like it was ridiculous. I definitely did it the hard way, but I still beat him and I still got that max XP bonus. Now, if only Capcom could see this video or somehow just receive our mind power that we don't want, we need a Dino Crisis remake. I mean, come on, I'm a huge Resident Evil fan, so I'm glad they did it with Resident Evil first, I'll be honest. But now that that's done, I want a Dino Crisis remake. Because think about it, right? If you think that Capcom managed to make zombies with the new RE engine look scary, which they did a good job, imagine it's a freaking dinosaur. Can you imagine it with all the detail, the scaled skin, just seeing a Velociraptor Rex just jumping at you from the corner? That would be terrified. And look, even though I want it with the fixed camera angles, I want it so bad, I'm willing to accept it with the over-the-top shoulder camera that they're just obsessed with, right? Fine, I'll wear it if you give me what I want. But if I have a say in it, yes, fixed camera angles with today's photorealistic graphics, I think it would be door dropping. Like I honestly believe a Dino Crisis with fixed camera angles with the RE engine, they would be able to do it so artistically well that you would look at screenshots and think it's real. Apart from the fact that it's dinosaurs, because obviously we don't have real dinosaurs going about. Um, that would be awkward. You've lasted this long. Please subscribe below so you don't miss out on my future videos. Today we did a retro video that was awesome. I love digging back to the old PS1 classics. Sometimes I cover Nintendo 64, sometimes I cover the Sega consoles. And I also like to keep up to date because as I said at the start of this video, I was talking about Pokemon Legends. I was talking about all these recent announcements so forth. So you'll get a little bit of everything here because I feel all us gamers can't control ourselves. If you're a gamer, you like many genres, many different categories, and I just like to keep you all up to date with what's going on if I'm not jumping back into the PS1 or even Super Nintendo era for like no reason whatsoever. That being said, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for hanging out with me. You have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening. Feel free to go through my backlog because I, as as you saw today, this was original content. This isn't something which is a reaction to simply a trailer or this and that. I do a lot of original pieces, which means I have a lot of videos that do not age. That do not age. It isn't this bit of news happened, now we talk about it, now it no longer matters. No. I've talked about Tenchu here. I've talked about Driver here. I've talked about Wu-Tang, Taste the Pain. That was another PS1 classic. And guess what? I have other PS1 games which I'll do as well. I have Jade Cocoon, for example. I really want to talk about that. All right, enough blabbering. Bye-bye.